Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the all new, brand new Hobby Wing ESC. This is the G265 amp X Rotor ESC. It is new and improved, and you are not going to want to miss this. Let's go. <laughs> All right, pilots. So here's the deal. Hobby Wing has been around for ages. They have been dealing in cars and helicopters and boats. You name it, they do it. Well, when they dived into FPV, we had some awesome, awesome products. There was even times where their ESCs, the old X-Rotor 60 amp ESC, was named the best ESC of the year. You, you could just fly it and crash it and break it and it would just keep on going. It was really, really popular among the racers because they really beat these things up. You're running high voltage, full throttle, nonstop, three full minutes at a time. And these ESCs would just keep on kicking. So I am as ecstatic as ever to find out and have uh, two of them sent to me by Hobby Wing, the 65 amp G2. So they took the X rotor, as you'll see the design is not very much different, but they took that design and made it better. Hobby Wing never ceases to amaze me. A while back they came out with the X rotor F7 convertible. They actually sent me one to pair up with this guy. I'm excited to check it out, but with their reputation I believe we're gonna be impressed so let's go ahead and crack this puppy open you know how they package already right they package their stuff oh oh just kidding all right let's go ahead and slide Ooh. there it is Oh my God, I love the way they do that. Okay, okay, come on. Mm. Look e here. So they've already put on your balance lead. They did not put your connector. That way you can put on whatever you want. I'm sure we have one in the box. Yep, so there you go. You've got your XT60 right there. You can put that on yourself. You've got your connector. This is gonna jump right here and jump you probably right up to this with no questions asked, no problems, no complications, no nothing. Just a simple bloop, bloop you done then you've got your manual right here and you know how hobby wing does right they don't leave nothing out you got info you want to know they've given it to you right here so you just go ahead and take that put it up and you've got everything that you could ever want to know all right so let's go ahead and dive into this build a little bit closer i want to take a look and see what the design looks like as you'll see this thing is absolutely gorgeous i mean that is a beauty but something you're probably recognizing and something you're probably wanting to know is gas that looks a lot like the 60 amp x rotor right and you're right it actually does if i pull one that i have side by side you'll see that the design is almost identical it it, it actually is identical it is the same exact design so we're not looking for an upgrade in the way it looks we're looking for an upgrade in the way that it performs and the components that are used and the power and the handling and the frequencies and all the things that come with escs and that is what they have done you can take a close close look and see right off the top look at the size of the mosfets compared to those these are far bigger they are far more beautiful and everything appears to be better the capacitors are probably about the same so there's not much change there i wonder if our wiring is identical that would be cool because that would mean if you have a build that is hobby wing and something did break you could just unplug and plug in a new g2 65 amps so it is important to note that this esc and i'm not talking about the new one i'm talking about the old 60 amp was a great esc it works great it handles great it doesn't break all the time so why would you want to change the design that much i mean i guess you could spruce it up a bit but they didn't need to they found that the design that they had worked they just wanted to make it better so let's go ahead and flip this puppy over look at that Mm -mm -mm. so you're running different components here and things are just not the same they do look the same but they are not the same all right pilot so with our escs looking pretty identical i believe the best move for us is going to be to jump into the scopey scope so let's go ahead and do that now all right, pilots, so now that we're in the scope, the first thing I wanna do is I want to check our pinout. 
So we've got NC, which means no connection or not connected, ground, battery, current, ground, 5 volts, 1, 2, 3, 4 for our ESC connection. I'm going to slide in the old ESC, and what do you know? No connection, ground, battery, current, ground, 5 volts, 1, 2, 3, 4. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I stated that if something was to happen with your old one, you could unplug and plug in the new one, and I wanted to confirm that that was true. It's true. So one of the first comparisons I want to make is the MOSFETs. I want to compare the new ones to the old ones. And if we put them side by side, you can see there that they are definitely bigger, they are definitely more robust, and they are a different MOSFET. These are actually high performance MOSFETs that are imported from Japan. How cool is that? And if we continue on, you can see the ceramic capacitors right here. That is nothing new, but there's plenty of filtration there and it's good to know that we still have it. So there you go. You are completely laced with FETs all the way around and it is absolutely gorgeous. We have those big beautiful pads that we can solder on right here. Nothing's changed there. If we flip this guy over, this is where we're really going to shine. Let's take a look. So we are running new F4 processors and that is going to be this guy right here. As you can see, look at that. That is beautiful. You've got one here one here, another here, and another here, okay? You've got a couple more MOSFETs on the bottom, and then if we head over to the side, this is the new three-in-one drive ICs, and how cool is that? You've got three ounces of copper, you've got six layers of PCB, it guarantees that this guy is gonna hold that power, handle that heat, and keep on putting out that motor power when you need it most. I am already impressed just by the quick overview. I know where we're really going to feel it is when we dive in and put this in a quadcopter and we take some hits and take some crashes and push this thing to its limits. That's when we're really going to feel it. But just taking a quick overview, I can already tell that this thing is going to be fantastic. So this new ESC is 128 kilohertz dynamic PWM. That means that it is supporting 124K by 128K PWM frequency. And it it can be dynamically adjusted for precision throttle control. Come on. So just like all other ESCs, or at least most of them, not all of them, but most of them, it supports all the different programs like one shot, multi shot, pro shot, D shot, and even regular PWM. So that's really cool. When you purchase it, it comes flashed with the third generation of BL Heli 32 firmware. It's got great performance and rich functions. It can do all kinds of things like uploading firmware in different ways. You can upload it via the throttle signal wire, or, well, you would have to use a development board, but also you can do it through the flight controller pass-through, so that's pretty cool. Something that really gives you flexibility is you can manually adjust your PWM refresh rate, and that's that 24 to 128K that we were talking about. <laughs> Very nice. You have your by RPM, which can be set for a dynamic refresh rate. <laughs> this thing has got some functions, boy. I'm excited. Your capacitor that comes on board is a whoo, 680, 35 volts. You got plenty of capacitance on board, plus you've got your external cap that already comes soldered up for you. So don't be afraid when you set this guy, if you're having a hard time coming out the back, come out the side or something. You know, if you need to fold this up, fold it down or unsolder it and reposition it, I mean, go for it. You've got the flexibility. It is a 30 by 30, so you're not going to squeeze this into a tiny little build. This is meant for a full 5-inch quadcopter pumping full 6S power, baby. And last but not least, they did up our amperage. The old board was a 60-amp board. This new board is a 65-amp board. So I am just overall excited. I can't wait to get this into a build. I'm going to go ahead and stack it with the convertible that they sent me, but I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think that I should go ahead and take this guy and put it in a build. Maybe we'll do a build video. What do you think? Let me know your guys' thoughts. I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go out and get your own Hobbywing X Rotor 65 Amp G2 ESC. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one.